I've been using the Zidu Media Player for about, I'm gonna say two or three weeks now. I feel like I've gotten a pretty good grasp of what it can do. I've tested it in my theater room, I've tested it in my rec room, uh, I've tested playing 4K video, I've tested it with like, uh, you know, doing HDR tone mapping, which in this theater you need that because I have a 1080p SDR uh, projector. In other words, any 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 4K HDR content needs to be tone mapped by the player to send it to the to the projector so that it doesn't look all grayed out. Uh, pros are, it handles HDR really well. 4K playback is flawless. The movie scraper is really really good. It it's about I'd say 98% of accuracy. For some reason, it misses some, even though they're they're titled correctly. And Plex will pick them up just fine, or Cody will pick them up just fine. But the for but Zidu or Zidu. Uh, doesn't seem to be able to scrape them very well. Overall, pretty good, I would say, and it's pretty relatively easy to change to help Z Zidu or Zidu like identify the the correct movie. It's not too bad. It's a bit, of, it's a little tedious, and hopefully, if you have all your files named properly, uh, then you should be good to go. A lot of pros. I love the aesthetics of the unit. It looks like a good piece of equipment that belongs in a rack and it belongs in a in a dedicated home theater room. I like the fact that you have an LCD panel on the front that tells you like the playback time of it because I can kind of quickly glance over to my left. But I'm about halfway through the movie, let's say. Uh, the interface is clean. I have tried Zipedi in the past. I would put the Zidu or Zidu uh, interface up above the Zipedi interface. Again, I only had the base. I only had the base skin with the Zipedi. So, you know, you can upgrade. You can you can get more chaffed to skins, but it's not really easy to get those upgraded skins on, on Zapiti. But anyway, that's a whole another story. The interface you get right from the Zidu is really cool. I think you get this front loading page with all the with the music, the poster wall, and all that stuff. You're, there's an app to see your directories. There's a settings app and all that stuff, and all that works really good. Looks good in my opinion. The star of the show is the poster wall. I'm gonna go into a con now. So one of the cons for the players, it does really bad job with scraping TV shows. I, I think I've seen that. I've seen this issue posted on like on post on boards as well. There's nothing I can do to get it to work well. Uh, and I'm not gonna. I have like over 5,000 uh, TV show videos on my network. I'm not gonna go and I'm gonna not gonna change everything so that it works with Zidu. As I do, I'm just not going to do that because everything works well with Plex. Everything works okay with uh, with Cody, um, so I'm not going to make it all my TV stuff work for Zidu. When in fact, I think Plex has a leg up on TV viewing because Plex is everywhere. You can watch Plex on a Fire Stick, on an Apple TV, on TV, on actually TVs itself. You, you know, the, a lot of TVs have the Plex app built into it, or you can download it. I watch a lot of TV in bits and pieces. I'll watch 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there, and Plex allows you to kind of pick up where you left off in every little TV. So that's definitely a benefit for Plex and for TV. So I think as I do is just gonna be, just gonna be a purely uh, movie player for me. Uh, and that's it. And I'm, I'm fine with that. I think what they need to do is like put out some kind of update or something so that their scraper can actually recognize because my file naming con convention is like works fine with Plex. They should kind of figure out a way to get it to work. It was like finding episodes from like a Asian parts of the world and stuff. It, I, no, nothing close. I think it's found, I think it managed to find like 800 out of 5,000 TV shows. And that's pretty poor. And a lot of them were incorrect. So I kind of gave up. I tried tweaking it a bit, but I, I ultimately I'm like I decided it's not going to be anything. I'm going to I'm not going to watch TV shows on it. Okay, so I'm going to talk about like uh, my experience of using the the Z, 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 Zidu or Zidu in my movie theater, uh, which has the SDR projector. The tone mapping on this thing is I would I would put it up there is really really good comparable to the Cody DS player. You would think that I was watching an SDR movie, but it's not. I'm playing like a 4K HDR movie and it's like tone mapping it perfectly. It uses this, its built-in Dolby Vision like en engine. It actually does the tone mapping using that video processing algorithm. And it does it flawless. I think everything I've thrown at it makes it look really good on my screen, even though I don't have an HDR projector. If you're looking for a media player that does really good tone mapping, this is the one. My Zipedi did a really bad, it was like barely, I considered it unwatchable. You had to watch 1080p SDR stuff with the Zipedi. And again, they might have improved that with better ones. I had the 4K mini. Uh, so as far as like audio, everything, if you put, if you have it set up correctly and like you have it, in, if you have the audio setting in raw, you should be good to go. 
Uh, I had no issues playing back anything that was Dol native uh, True HD Dolby Atmos. There aren't a lot of DTS-X movies, but I did find one and it worked okay. Anything that was like DTS Master Audio, all that stuff, it works really fine. It works, it, you can, it'll handle anything you throw at it. One of the biggest benefits of this uh, player, and I'll throw in Zipidi as well, is that you can actually play MVC 3D movies on it at full resolution, full 1080p resolution, without having to do this side-by-side -side business that you had to do with Kodi which basically when you do the side-by-side -side conversion, it's like having your resolution, it's like, it takes half of your resolution out of the picture. It makes it, it doesn't make it very good, but this is full resolution 1080p as if you were playing it off of a Blu-ray player. So if you're into 3D, uh, this thing does a really good job and it just starts playing flawlessly. Everything works, everything worked great. Uh, I played, I think I put on Avatar, I put on Gravity, and I put on a few other movies as well and they, everything worked great. Z Zaidu or Zidu is just not, it's not perfect. It got enough things right for me that I ended up buying, decided I, I this is what I'm gonna go forward with the new in the new house. In addition to the Z1000 Pro, I decided to be, buy a Z9X, which is a smaller unit that doesn't have, it doesn't have the built-in like hard drive caddy or whatever you wanna call it. It's like about half as much. If you have all your, your all your storage in like a centralized server, then I would probably recommend that you go with the Z9X because it's cheaper and it has the, the internals are the same. Top of the line one is like a thousand dollars. That one does might have a little more memory in it, but I don't think that that's, from my experience, I haven't, the interface is quite quick, so I don't really see it as an issue. I'm not seeing any bottlenecks in the system right now, so I don't think it's necessary I would probably just go ahead and recommend, unless you like the aesthetics of the Z1000 Pro, which I do, and I, that's the, the, I want that kind of look for my rack. If you don't care about that, then go ahead and get the Z9X. It's, I, I, it's really good. I'll probably put out, at some point, I'll, put another, I'll post another video on the Z9X. Those are my thoughts. Uh, overall, I think it's uh, the Z2, Z2 is really good. It's a good, it's a good system, good media player, plays pretty much anything you throw at it. Uh, works better for movies and TV shows, and I really like it. So, and I think you might like it too. So, if you have any questions about the Zidu or Zidus that you know the Z1000 Pro, or about the interface or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Consider subscribing to the channel; it really helps uh, helps me out. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.